Hello and welcome to Steve Knows and I just got my beautiful new personal computer rig and was really excited to play some virtual reality. However, I don't own a PSVR headset, so I thought all hope was lost. I do own an Oculus Quest though, and thanks to some software that's floating around, it's possible to use my Oculus Quest as my PC VR headset. So I'm going to take you through how to set this up so you can enjoy Steam VR games wirelessly on your Oculus Quest. This is amazing as you get to experience AAA titles available on Steam and make use of the complete freedom of your Quest without having to dish out even more money for a HMD. So in this video, I will state now that I am assuming that you've got side quest already and have gone through that setup. If you have not, I'll put the other video at the end of this one and timestamp it in the description for you. This will take you through how to set up side quests step by step, which is incredibly useful to learn so you can sideload Crisis VR, T for God, Pavlov, all of these amazing titles that we're just going crazy about at the moment. So some overview about what's happening here just before we start. ALVR on your computer is going to act as a server running Steam VR. This then connects to your headset running a ALVR client. So let's begin. Step one, you want to visit the ALVR GitHub on your computer. Go to Google, type in ALVR GitHub and search. It should be the first option on this list. Go to releases, select the latest version, which here is the alpha 5, uncollapse the assets. You want the zip file that will contain the server side scripts and application you need to make this happen. You don't need the APK if you're using SideQuest as it's available for an easy install already in the VR app section of it. If you are not using SideQuest, download the APK also, but I do recommend the SideQuest method as it takes a lot of the stress away, especially if you're not computer savvy or you're just lazy like me. I've put a timestamp below for the SideQuest install and the ADB install if you don't want to use SideQuest. It's a previous video, but to prevent you from clicking all over the place, I've just popped it at the end of this one. Files downloaded, we now need to install Steam VR. If you haven't done that, open up Steam, go to library, change the search to tools and look for Steam VR and install that puppy. If you haven't used Steam VR before and to get ALVR to work for some reason, you need to open up Steam VR at least once before. So open up Steam VR once it's freshly installed and then close it again. Open up SideQuest and connect your headset with any cable you have available to plug into your headset. If you only have the USB-C cable that came with your headset, you'll need a USB-C port on your computer. If you don't have that, I do have a couple of nice aluminium converters here. Just let me know if you want them and leave a comment saying gimme. So now in SideQuest, go to VR apps and run the install on ALVR. If you're using the ADB method, you'll need to run the ADB module, which I showed at the end of the previous video, running those terminal commands to install the APK on the headset. It is time stamped here for you for reference. It's a terminal command, something like ADB and then the path to the APK file. Once ALVR is installed on your headset, head to the library tab, head to unknown sources, run the ALVR application from within your headset and leave this app running. I recommend putting tape over the sensor to keep the app live or you can just rest the headset on top of your head to keep it going. This application is now listening via the Wi-Fi for our server connection, which we will run now. So head to where you downloaded the ALVR zip file, likely in your downloads folder, and extract everything inside of it. Click inside this extracted directory, open the ALVR application called ALVR. You may get a warning about unknown sources, accept it, and also approve any firewall access it requires. This may not work if your firewall is blocking the connection, so please check it's not enabled or whitelist the connection in your firewall. If you're using third-party security as well like I did, you need to disable that because it overrides the Windows settings. Once the ALVR application loads up, go to the About page and install the required drivers. It only takes a few seconds. Depending on your internet connectivity, you may also need to edit the video settings to enable a good stream. If you have a bad Wi-Fi connection, lower the specifications on this page to ensure that you have a small seamless experience. If you have a great connection, go crazy, increase them. You should now see your quest visible to this application. Select it and hit connect. This should launch Steam VR and start streaming it to your headset. Put on your headset and you should be in a Steam VR hub. From here, you can access your Steam library and select any VR games you want to play. You may be really short though when this loads, so press the menu button, go to the settings and calibrate the environment. I obviously recommend stationary play for a more seamless experience because rune scale adds complexity to the data being sent and it could affect your play, but of course this is your decision. You should be now up and running, so choose a game to play and enjoy. I tried Spider-Man and what an experience this is! 
I hope that helps you guys. Any issues, leave a comment and I'll try and address them so you can also enjoy PC VR on the Oculus Quest headsets. So thanks for watching. Steve knows. Happy gaming. Good day. Are you seeing this? Yes, obviously because internet. Is this building insanely tall or is it just me? that building ha! dude this looks easy yeah it's not that easy trust me this is awesome Bank providing your own ride share service. The first thing you want to do is install the SideQuest application. I'll put a link in the description or you can Google SideQuest Expanse GitHub. This will take you to a GitHub page where you can see the source code. Issues here if you have any problems or want them fixed and releases. Visit the releases page, scroll down to the asset section. Select whatever system you are running and download the files. So Windows, select Windows, Linux, select Linux. There are instructions on this page as well for troubleshooting if you run into any problems. They're easy to follow, just check out the steps. Once this zip file is downloaded, unpackage the files. Windows you can use 7-zip or WinRAR, but for me on Mac I have a default utility so I'm going to use that. Open the unzip file and select the application SideQuest. This will launch the app. If you get an error message on Mac, simply go to Settings, Security, and approve the use of the application. It's just because it's third party that the computer panics. The UI should now be loaded. Here you can add custom Beat Saber songs in the Beat Saber tab, install some apps that come with it, some VR titles you can install. There's also the PC VR apps here. There's Android apps, some of which you want to install, but not all of them are listed here. It's not a great selection, so that's why I'm gonna show you how to add additional APKs in this video, but first, Go to the setup button in the bottom left corner. Follow these instructions, they even provide links so you don't have to mess around. First create a developer organization, click the provided link, select create org. You may be asked to sign in at this point, if so just sign in. And create an organization, anything you like, I called it Stevie Knows. Agree to the terms and conditions of course, and that's that. Now you need to download the drivers which only Windows machines need, Linux and Mac users have them already. So if you're on Windows, click the provided link, tick the box that says you accept the T's and C's and download. In the download file there may be a setup to run or an executable to install the drivers and do that before continuing. Now you want to go to your mobile device, open the Oculus application, Go to settings, select the headset you want to apply changes to, visit more settings and activate the developer mode. This is used for developer studios to load their binaries onto the headset and test the game in virtual reality. We are not hacking the system in any way. This exists for a reason and it's available for all to use. Now you want to connect your headset to the computer and confirm the host. I would select always when you're confirming otherwise you'll have to do this every time you are uploading packages. Then finally, they ask you to install their app launcher onto the headset. This is what we need. This is useful as it acts as a hub for all of your mobile APK installs. I also like the organization of it so things don't get messy. Once this is installed onto your headset, you can find the menu under the unknown sources tab on the homepage in your library. But you'll see that shortly. Now we want to install a module named ADB. We get this from the Android developer page. The module will install APKs onto the specified device. This is available for Linux, Windows and Mac also. So go to this page, download the file, accept the terms and conditions, downloading the SDK, extract, and then look into the extracted folder and you can see ADB executable. That's what we want to use. Extract the download and then if you look into the extracted folder, here you can see ADB. That's what we want to use. Next, we need an APK to put onto our device. I've gone for all of the social medias, the Twitter, the Instagram, Discord, Messenger, WhatsApp. I even have some games installed. 
you can literally Google for the APK that you want. Just type in like Twitter, Android app, and you can find it. Once downloaded, you want to open the terminal, go to where you have downloaded the ADB, where you've extracted that file. In my case, it's in the downloads folder. Make sure the device is connected. If you haven't, just in case, make sure it's connected. Then run this command for each APK that you want to install into your headset. First, the path to the ADB module that you want to use, which in my case is dot download slash platform tool slash ADP. Then install, then hyphen R, then you want to put in the path to where the APK you're trying to install lives. Hit enter, it'll do its business and that's it. Repeat this for any application you want to stick onto the headset, whether it be a mobile app or a VR application. If you wanted to stick a game onto the headset that is a virtual reality APK, you can also do this via this process, but the game won't appear under the Expanse application. It will be on its own under the unknown source menu, just like Minecraft is here. 